Hey guys, this is Chad at RetroJunkies.com. I am also Parchman26 on there. Um, you know, usually the last couple of videos I've done, I've done pickup videos and I'm probably going to do one in about a day or so. But today I'm going to talk about a little bit of something different. Um, collecting to play. Uh... NES games that won't break the bank, but are great games. Uh, I've watched several videos that, you know, they say that it is, that's not, it's not fun to collect anymore for NES games. I don't know. It's fun to play. And that, that's where, that's where I'm coming from. Yeah, there are games like Little Samson and, you know, Flintstones at Dinosaur Peak that are three, dollars $400. I'm not paying that. Instead, I will play these games all day long and be happy about it. But, anyway, there are some games for you. Solstice. Hey, you are not this guy. You are a squat dude in a robe and a hat. You do not even see his face. You do not get to kill enemies, but this is a great puzzle game. Great puzzle game. Um, you have to figure out how to get different keys and that kind of thing. Check that out. Faxanadu, one of my favorite games of all time on the NES. Uh, I got this on a trade, but still, you're looking probably about three, two, three, four, five dollars. Check that out. Gorilla War, one of my favorite games on the system. I play this with my little girl a lot, um, and she enjoys it. Uh, she is eight years old, and she loves playing this. So this is this is a two-player. I cannot say enough good things about Gorilla War. Um, I'm going to catch some crap on this, but that's okay. Um, anyway, here you go. Spiritual Warfare. I know. Wisdom Tree. Blah, blah, blah. But this is a good game. It's a good adventure. Uh, you know, you have to collect different armors of God, whatever. I don't know. Check that out. Ninja Gaiden, or Gaiden, I'm sorry, early morning. Ninja Gaiden. Um, we know the reputation of this game. It is insanely hard, you know, but that's okay. You know, when we spent our 60 bucks, we wanted our money's worth. We wanted to play for a really long time. We wanted a challenge, you know. We didn't want to beat it in like two days. Mickey Mouse Capade. Great game great game um i love disney games uh you know they're done well they do a great job on these so check that out buy you billy yeah i mean it is 3.99 insanely hard game i think your life life expectancy is like maybe five minutes tops you know but that's okay and that's only because your life bar is a little bit long <coughs> But the point is, this is a good game. Um, you know, you do have your driving, and then you have a zapper part and all this and that. So check that out. Gunsmoke. So incredibly underrated. Um, it is a shooter. You do have to, cl you do have to um, kill, you know, outlaws and that kind of thing, and you collect money and that kind of thing and as you go you have you can buy uh you can buy machine guns i know in the wild west uh but you know great little game pick that up if you can so incredibly addictive narc this game was five dollars um just say no they mean it on this game with rocket launchers and machine guns and creepy dudes in trench coats. Anyway, uh, yeah, great little shooter. You know, check that out. Metal Mech, Man and Machine. Uh, you know, you do play as a mech, and you do get to shoot waves of enemies. The graphics are pretty simple, but the gameplay itself was pretty fun. Check that out. Wrath of Black Manta. Different. But, I mean, it, it's good. Uh, you do play as a ninja, and, you know, the gameplay itself is really good. Double Dragon 2. We know the rep this one has, too. It is hard. 
but the gameplay is fun. Um, check him out. Operation Wolf. This is a zapper game. I know it doesn't say over here. But you can also use your controller. Um, the zapper is a lot more effective, of course. But, you know, check that out. It is a good game. Um, Cabal. Yeah, three ninety nine. dollars um, I got this at Game Point, I believe. Uh, this is a fun game. This is an incredibly addictive game. Captain America and the Avengers. You get to, you do get to play as, uh, you know, as all four of these, and you know, it's pretty fun. S and K. If you want a baseball game, <clears throat> it is by <clears throat> Little League. I mean, this is uh, Little League Baseball by S and K. <clears throat> Insanely fun, guys. Check that out. Burger time. Great little port. Ultima. The Goonies 2. Nothing like the movie, but it is fun. Sky Kid. Great uh, airplane game. Um, just check that out. Excite Bike. We know about Excite Bike, you know, piss your friends off with speed bumps and that kind of thing. Whatever. Build your own tracks. Again, five bucks maybe. Uh, Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Another Disney game. I got this for my little girl, but I I took the controller to show her how, you know, the controls and stuff like that. And I had a hard time giving it back. You know, it's pretty fun. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Um, the first one is also in the Manhattan Project. You may have a bit of a problem finding it. I did get one with a book for about 15 bucks, but I will go out of my way to get a book, you know. Anyway, Jackal. Love this game. Um, incredibly addictive. Incredibly addictive. Uh, you do play as a Jeep, and the more POWs you collect, the your weapons get upgraded. So, you know. Batman, one of my favorite games on the console. Uh you know, great platformer. Y'all should check that out. Um, you know. Anyway, there you go guys. Twenty five games that are five dollars, ten dollars or less for the most part they were five, six, seven bucks. My point is, you do not have to break the bank to play your games, to collect for NES. Uh, you know, now, granted, I have some great stores here. I have, you know, um, the Game Room Trading Post in Malvern. Uh, we have a uh, Game Exchange in Hot Springs. Uh, we have, you know, and I also talked to my buddy Nick D, Nick D's Video Game Vault, and, um, you know, there are your scalpers, you know, but for the most part, you can get these cheap. And Mike, at it, it's mostly about the hunt, you know, about being able to interact with different people, about having, you know, different people in walks of life. And you have this one thing in common, gaming. Mike at uh, the Game Room Trading Post, he, he's an older guy, but he will sit there and talk to you about games, about collecting. He knows a lot of stuff. And um, anyway... Check this stuff out. Have fun. Uh, don't break the bank. <laughs> All right. This is Chad, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks for, you know, thanks for looking at it. Have a good day. Appreciate y'all.